It feels like every year has a theme. I don't know if game developers are in cahoots with each other, but it seems like similar styles of games always release around the same time. I'm picturing a giant WhatsApp group chat out there where one developer says, hey, we're thinking about making a game with floating islands, which is then followed by a flood of, sounds good, us too. 2023 is the year of flying and floating islands, and I couldn't be happier about it. It's in everything from huge games like Tears of the Kingdom to smaller indie titles like Aloft, which actually lets you fly the islands themselves. I'm not sure I truly understand it, but I love its spirit. I love hopping from rock to rock, searching for treasure, the occasional critter. It provides a sense of exhilarating fear and excitement, but the game that we're looking at today is a little different than exploring floating islands. I'm talking about Forever Skies, which is a wasteland survival game where you travel across the sky to different locations, peeking out of the deadly toxins that cover the surface of the planet. We can do all this through the use of our handy blimp, but not just any kind of blimp. This is a blimp on steroids, fully modular and capable of expanding to your heart's content. It's like attaching a tiny home to the balloons from Up, but way more versatile and durable. This game is perfect for those gamers that love exploring the world, but also for those that spend all their time building their base. You literally pick up your base and bring it wherever you go, which is extremely convenient as you have access to all of your resources and tools. I'm still working on my base, but I have plans to make a huge double-decker, double-blimped mansion to aid me in my journey. You have access to a large array of tools, both in hand and aboard your ship, you will fish for moths, purify toxic rainwater, and shoot floating trash orbs that provide you with the building materials to expand your base and tools. If you've ever played Raft, then you'll likely find a lot of similarities in Forever Skies. However, you're able to navigate the locations much earlier in this game. I think one of my favorite parts is turning off my engines and floating in the sky during a storm while catching some moths. It might not be the prettiest sight, but it really captures the feeling of comfort. That being said, the storms are harsh and pretty terrifying. As you progress through the game, you'll upgrade your blimp, which allows it to climb to higher altitudes and access new locations. There's a story locked behind logs and notes that you will find scattered around the map. I haven't been as invested in the story, I'm just trying to build my blimp as big as possible, but it's there for people who love reading the lore behind the world. I've definitely noticed some frame rate issues in certain sections of the game, specifically storms or when accessing areas that have a lot of weather density. It typically goes away if you look in the opposite direction, which does very little if you're on your blimp during the storm. Don't mind me as I stand in the corner of my room. Strangely, it doesn't happen every storm, but I feel robbed in the times that it does happen. I'm not crying, it's just rainy. All in all, Forever Skies is another enjoyable addition to the world of survival games. I can't think of many games that let you bring your base with you, so this is a pretty unique concept. I think that feature alone is enough for most people to give it a shot. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you drop a like. And if you're interested about the game, drop a comment below about what you think.